Dear audience, we know that increased blood glucose level increases insulin secretion. But do you know that this secretion is more when glucose is taken orally as compared to when it is given intravenously? Why is it so? We will find out the reason as we study the incretin effect in this video. Welcome back to our channel Pharmacy D by Asim where learning medical concepts are made easy. I am Dr. Mahnoor Khan and you all have to stay with me till the end of this video to solve the mystery of incretin effect. Let's get started. So the reason is actually very simple. When the glucose is injected directly into the veins, it's only the glucose that makes the pancreas release insulin. So the released quantity is relatively small. However, when the glucose is taken orally, it takes its friends along and then they all make the pancreas release insulin. These friends are incretin hormones. These hormones secreted by the gastrointestinal tract. For example, when your glucose is in the iliac lumen, it causes the cells of the ileum to release glucagon like peptide 1 also known as GLP-1. GLP-1 causes decrease in glucagon secretion along with increase in insulin secretion from your pancreas. So now, along with absorbed glucose, its friend will also make the pancreas release insulin. So insulin secretion is relatively more when glucose is taken orally. This phenomenon is called incretin effect. Thus, the reason for more insulin release after oral intake is incretins. These incretins have great importance in therapeutics. Also, we have two drug classes that target this encrypting system to increase insulin secretion in patients with diabetes. Viewers, we know that in diabetes, the problem is either decreased insulin secretion or insulin is not working properly. Here, the incretin system can help us increase insulin secretion. Two drug classes that I'm talking about are GLP-1 analogs and TPP-4 inhibitors. GLP-1 analogs include liraglutide and semaglutide. Similar to endogenous GLP-1, they act on the GLP-1 receptors on the beta cells and increase insulin secretion. DPP-4 inhibitors are cetagliptin and vildagliptin. Now, the DPP-4 is an enzyme that destroys endogenously secreted GLP-1. DPP-4 inhibitors inhibit this enzyme and thereby prevent the destruction of endogenous incretin. So their effect is increased and more insulin is secreted. Viewers, now as a quick recap, ingested glucose causes secretion of incretins from the gastrointestinal tract. These ingredients then increase insulin secretion from the pancreas. Anti-diabetic drugs targeting this mechanism are GLP-1 analogs and DPP-4 inhibitors. So that's it for this video. If you feel this video will help your friends and colleagues, please share it with them too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.